Well, your home may be in extreme danger of flooding and you may have no idea. A Team 12 investigation finds FEMA flood maps are badly out of date. The result is some homeowners out tens of thousands of dollars for repairs that would have been covered by flood insurance. Our senior investigative reporter, Walt Kane, shows you the latest data to keep your family protected. By the way, you can also access that data anytime by just following the QR code you see on your screen. This is where we had our Christmas parties. We had everybody here from the family. Can't do it now. Residents of the Rossmore 55 and over community will never forget the day they were hit by the remnants of Ida. We're pretty, pretty devastated. In the million years, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. They took myself and my neighbor out in a boat. This is Fran Klinsky's fourth severe flood. One of the biggest things I lost was the uh, ceremonial flag for my brother's funeral. And that hit hard. Frightening as these images are, consider this. These homeowners now have to pay for tens of thousands of dollars in repairs with no help from insurance. The federal government says their homes are not in a flood zone, so flood insurance is not required. You guys don't have flood insurance? No, I don't. You know, a lot of people said, you know, you don't need it. It's not a flood zone. After the first flood, I applied for flood insurance. After that, I just couldn't do it. It's a story we're hearing more and more from Greenwich, Connecticut. Other than the kitchen table uh, and one dresser, everything else is gone. To Great Neck, Long Island. Everything I have to throw it out. I cannot, I don't know how to live like this. Homeowners devastated by floods in areas outside flood zones meaning FEMA says they should flood less than once a century. My kitchen has to be gutted, my living room and dining room has to all be gutted. Why is this happening? For one thing, our Team 12 investigation finds the government relies on flood maps that are decades old. The last flood map FEMA released was in 2010, but data from the agency shows some individual map panels have not been updated since the 1970s. A lot has changed in the last 50 years. I mean, we have this trend of increasing heavy rainfall events, and that data, when you put it into the models that produce the maps, create different maps. The First Street Foundation compared FEMA's flood maps to areas that had actually suffered severe flooding and found almost 6 million more properties at risk of flooding than the official maps show. When you don't account for that, then folks don't know that they have risk and they don't have insurance. The group also built an online tool, Flood Factor, that lets homeowners see their flood risk now and over the next 30 years. Our goal is really to take this publicly available data, make it accessible, and then communicate it in a way that's easy to understand. Take that neighborhood in Great Neck. FEMA shows no flood zones in the area. First Street's model shows there is one. And remember that 55 and over community in New Jersey? FEMA's map shows the flood zone ends long before it gets to Fran Klinsky's or Ann Wernick's home. But First Street shows much of the neighborhood at risk. So literally right down that sidewalk is a flood zone. But yes. here is it. Here is not. No. Some lawmakers had proposed fixing the problem by spending $3 billion for new flood maps in the new infrastructure bill. But that funding was cut from the final version. There are some people have said for years, we can't afford to deal with climate change. It's too big a cost to our economy. What we're realizing now is we can't afford not to. As for Fran Klinsky, she says she's tired of waiting for things to get better. After her fourth severe flood, she's putting her home up for sale. You know, they say lightning doesn't strike twice. Well, to me, this is four times, and it's four times too many. If you'd like to see what Flood Factor says about your flood risk, follow the QR code on the bottom of your screen or go to news12.com. And if you've had a flooding issue you think needs to be investigated, call me at 732-738-KANE. Email caneinyourcorner at news12.com or find me on social media. Well, it's awfully frustrating. Uh, when are we going to see these new flood maps? Well, FEMA's next scheduled update, they're supposed to come out every 10 years. It was supposed to be last year, but the agency indicates it's still at least a year off. FEMA is also remapping New York and New Jersey. Preliminary maps there are not expected, though, until 2023. Okay, an important investigation tonight. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And increased flooding is also threatening to shut down critical services like hospitals, power plants, and other vital infrastructure. So this is not over. Walt can investigates the issue tomorrow night at 10 as we continue our failing foundations coverage. Walt, thank you so much. Thanks.